I am cooking my way through the world in alphabetical order, A through Z, Z, where, depending where you're from. Cooking a dish today from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm still in B, I've got a long way to go. All the way over in the Balkans in Europe. And uh, you know, if I was there right now, you know what I'd be eating? Chavape and somun. Chavape is like, it's like a hand rolled mini sausage essentially. And it's very rustic looking. Now you're using beef or lamb or pork or a combination of two of those. With that, we're gonna have a somun which is like, it's like, think like a pita. It's like a Balkan pita. Anyway, you're gonna find this food all over Eastern Europe. It's just, we're making it the Bosnian way today, or the Bosnian Herzegovinian way today. So that's what we're gonna do. Firstly, what I gotta do is start with the dough for the somun. I gotta get this going right off the bat because it's gonna take a couple hours. Seven, eight grams of active dry yeast into 150 milliliters of lukewarm milk. Stir that in. You let that yeast do its thing for like five minutes. It's gotta activate. Activation complete. In a separate bowl, that's bread flour. Four and a half cups worth. It's like 500 grams or so. You can add in two teaspoons of salt. Whisk that in. The yeast milk mix. Water, like half a cup worth. 150 mils. Five tablespoons of yogurt. It says creamy yogurt. I'm gonna use Greek yogurt. I mean, Balkans, Mediterranean, Greek yogurt. I feel like that's a good mix. One, two, three, four, mix together here. Okay, I'm done with that. Use your hands. It says the dough needs to be sticky, so I'm just gonna add like a tablespoon more water. So I'm gonna get this onto my surface. I wanna knead this until it's like kind of smooth. And it's like five minutes later. This thing is round enough. Bowl me. Thank you. Fade away. Get it covered up with like a kitchen towel. It's gotta hang out somewhere warm. And I'm gonna leave it in the microwave. I think that's a warm enough spot for it. 90 minutes. Doubled in size. It says preheat the oven to your maximum temperature. I think that's around 500. So I need to flour up a work surface here. This needs to come out. Divide the dough into equal parts. So I'm gonna make this into a ball shape. If it's too big, then I can make it smaller. So once it's been rolled into a ball, Use your fingers to form a flat shape until it reaches like a circle shape as around the thickness of a finger. I make this grid pattern on top. So you're gonna take an, the back end of a knife here. And with that, let me just do the rest of these. So sprinkle these with a little bit of water. So while the oven's preheating, I'm just gonna let these sit here and proof just a little bit more. A cast iron skillet has been heating up with the oven, so it's scorching hot. So I put one of these on the cast iron skillet. I'm gonna bake it for like seven to 10 minutes. If that looks good, then I'll bake the rest using that method. But additionally, I'm gonna try a different method too, which is these are on a baking sheet on parchment paper to see whatever, you know. May the best dough win. I abandoned the baking tray because the cast iron was working. Don't mess with what's working. So since I was baking these individually, you know, by the time I got to the last of them, it had already been like 30, 40 minutes. So those ones, because they had proofed a second time much longer than the first bunch that I was baking, uh, you can see the difference. This is one of the first ones that I baked, and then this is the puff ball. This is after like a 40 minute second proof. So yeah. Yeah, like this. So we gotta move on to the chavapi. I gotta make these like sausage looking things made out of this right here. This is this is ground beef, that's ground lamb. 600 grams, a little under a pound and a half of the beef and 300 grams, 10 ounces of the lamb. So I'm gonna need a bowl. Thank you. Add the meat, spared no expense. Salt that up. And I'm gonna add in some pepper too, you know? couple cloves of minced up garlic. With some clean hands, let's get in there. So I gotta knead this together for a few minutes. It says to refrigerate this overnight, but uh, I don't know how necessary that is, especially for today's purposes. So I'm just gonna skip that step. I'm gonna move right on to whatever's next. <laughs> now shape the meat into small logs, no bigger than your index finger. 
yeah, it seems, uh, seems good for me. That's good. I'm happy with that. Or slightly bigger. I like that. They're gonna shrink a little while they cook. So that's not gonna bother me none too much. Yeah. Since I'm here in this New York apartment, I'm just gonna cook it on my uh, cast iron. But you know, if you had a grill, let there be light. So on a medium heat, drizzle in some olive oil. Thank you very much. So I want these browned and cooked through. So add them, here we go. Don't crowd it. Roll them around until each side is browned. It's like a minute or so per side. It doesn't take long. It is imperative to serve this dish with some raw onions. Chop this up exactly how I saw in some photos of these dishes, like authentic photos. So um, there we go. It's like, like that. Also, sour cream is a must. Let's slice up some chives into the sour cream. Add some pepper, a little salt. I had to assemble one of these mofos. Okay, I want some onions on the plate. Here's the nicest looking somon. What do I gotta do? Like cut it in half kind of thing? Serious pita vibes there. Look at that, look at that. First the sour cream. You know what? That should do it. Order up. Okay, how about I get a little of that sour cream on top? Oh yeah. Onions. Just go for it. Yeah, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Every component of this being as fresh as it possibly can be is just, it makes it. Well, that was nice. Delicious. There's so many cultures that have some sort of variation of something like this. There's a reason why. I mean, it's a seemingly pretty simple dish, right? But then you start adding in this when you're like making this yourself, then suddenly it's like, yeah, there's like a sense of accomplishment when it's all finished, right? And when it tastes as good as that, when it's all fresh right out of the oven, chivalpe is seasoned perfectly. All it needs is a little salt, pepper, some garlic, boom, done. It's just a perfect meal. Wouldn't change a thing, loved it. Thanks for joining today for this quick trip to Bosnia. I'll be in another country that also starts with the letter B. Next time, I'll see you later. Bye. New on Patreon, I have live streams going on fairly frequently. So if you wanna join one of those, you wanna ask me a question, shoot the shit, just chat. Uh, that all happens over on Patreon. You gotta sign up for it. It's right here or in the description. Of course, if you're not interested, you can just watch these videos. That's totally cool too. See ya.